Hello everyone. So today I have a set of budget earbuds that I'd like to review. The good people from Ace Fast sent me these pair of earbuds. You know, it's really interesting when companies reach out to reviewers and ask them to review earbuds, you know, it's usually one of two things that they are expecting to happen. Either one, because the reviewer is getting a set of free earbuds <laughs> that they're going to get a glorious review, or two, the company send them out because they really believe in their product and they are trusting reviewers to give honest reviews and there is an expectation that the honest reviews will be pretty good. And so for this particular earbud, it's the latter. That is... These are really good earbuds. I was surprised. They're $30. I've got the link down below in the comment section. Um, and you can take a look, see the different specs on these earbuds. And that they're interesting. They're really interesting. But before we get into the good stuff, let me talk about maybe the not so good stuff. Number one, there is no wireless charging. But you have to have an expectation, a reasonable expectation. They're $30 earbuds. There's not a lot of $30 earbuds that have wireless charging. And this is one of them. Two, they don't have ANC. And again, we're talking $30. But now with that said, although there's no ANC, the passive noise isolation of these things is actually really good. They're the traditional or I should say now traditional stem type earbud. They fit very cleanly and nicely into your ear. And when you put them in, the, the passive noise isolation is actually really impressive. Now, although they don't have ANC, what they do have is ENC. And ENC is, a vi is environmental noise cancellation. And with environmental noise cancellation, this is really for phone call making. So if you're out and about outside, you take a phone call, you make a phone call, the ENC is supposed to block out environmental noise. Now, I can say I tried this out and it did an exceptionally good job. In fact, I was at home, I was in the laundry room, turned on the fan, called my son, turned off the fan and on the fan while I was talking to him and he couldn't perceive any difference in how I was sounding. I sounded good. There was no fan noise. When I went outside and the cars drove by and the wind was blowing, once again, the response was really good. So the ENC on the th these things works pretty, pretty good. There are four microphones. It does a nice job in getting rid of environmental noise. So it does a really nice job canceling that stuff. Okay. Let me get into all the good things because the rest is really good. And once again, I was pretty surprised. Now, typically, these type of earbuds is not necessarily my lane um, because for me, this whole channel started because I was looking for earbuds for me. And I've got to be honest, lately, I've been using the Bose QC. I've been using the Jobber Elite 85T. I've been using them for bike riding. And I'm going to have a separate video um, which one is best for bike riding, but that's what I've been using because that's typically what I've been looking for for me, right? But every now and again, you come across a really good set of budget earbuds and you say, wow, I, I don't necessarily need to be spending all this money if something this good can be found for this price. Now, in this area or in this genre of budget earbuds, Earfun is the big name, right? We've tried Earfun. Earfun's gotten a lot of really good reviews, a lot of really good press. They're inexpensive. They have a lot of bells and whistles. But I sort of have a theory with Earfun. What Earfun tends to do with their earbuds is make it really dynamic sounding, meaning they push out the bass. So if you like bass, especially in a gym situation, then the Earfuns sound great. The problem with the Earfuns, though, once you put on an Earfun, and then once you compare it to a balanced earbud, you can really see the difference. So Earfun pushes out bass, they retreat the mids. And again, it's not a particularly balanced sound. The curious thing with these, these Ace Fast, is it's balanced. 
I, w I was so pleasantly surprised. I put them on. I was expecting pronounced bass because typically the budget earbuds push out the bass. But in this instant, it wasn't that bassy. I mean, it was bassy. It was good bass, but it was also balanced. So if you like vocals, if you like mids and highs, these are really something that you should explore because I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. So what else is good about these earbuds? They come with an 8mm driver. Now, I have another theory. <laughs> My theory is that anything that's 6 millimeters and below, it's not going to get particularly loud. If it's above 6 millimeters, then you can get some noise. These are 8 millimeters. They're balanced nicely and they can get loud. They can get really loud. And you'll note that a second ago I talked about the bows and the Jabas for bike riding. I tried these for bike riding because the passive noise isolation is so good. Wind noise was at a real minimum. And again, I was pleasantly surprised. Because if you compare it to the Jabra, like the Jabra Elite 85T, you've got A and C, you're bike riding, there's going to be wind noise. So you turn A and C off, but there's still wind noise. With this guy, wind noise is a real minimum. Now the Bose, you put on A and C, and actually the wind noise is almost dissipated completely. It does a pretty nice job with that. But for bike riding, for working out, this is really impressive. We're talking about an IPX6 rating also. So it stands the test. And ultimately, these buds are going to be really nice for you to use in the gym. You can throw them around. You're not going to feel, oh my gosh, I'm going to destroy my $300 pair of earbuds. They're $30. You'll also notice that the size of the case is literally the same exact size of an AirPod Pro case. The buds themselves are very lightweight. We're talking four to five grams. You, you don't notice them after a while. They're pretty lightweight. Um, again, the sound is balanced. They get loud. The fit is good. Little to win noise. Decent sound separation. Again, I was so pleasantly surprised with these. I, I really have to say... And again, I'm not saying this because Ace Fast sent me these. I mean, they're $30. I could, I could have purchased them myself and I would have been just as satisfied. But again, this is a company who is saying, we've got a product. We're sending it out. We understand it's only $30. And we're taking the risk that you could say this is not a good budget buy. But they know they've got a good product. They've got an 8 millimeter driver. It's well balanced. It's lightweight. It's comfortable. That's really great. I do have one gripe besides the other gripes. Although, you know, wireless charging not really is a particular gripe for me. I can do with it or without it. I do have to say it's very convenient to have wireless charging, but that's never been a deal breaker for me. A and C is not a deal breaker either because the passive noise isolation is that good. The thing that bugs me a bit is there's no volume control on the earbud. So what controls do the earbuds have? Well, they've got a very nice touchpad, by the way, which is quite sensitive. They have start music, pause music, track forward, track back, and I can call up Siri, or if you're an Android user, you can call up your Google or, or whatever it is that you're headphone concierge is right and, and it does a nice job three taps for siri i called up siri i'm on a bike ride i'm connected to apple music i can say play whatever song i want because it's going to be there and it plays it and it does a really nice job but no volume control which is sort of a bummer because again they use on these earbuds both earbuds have very similar controls the left one and the right one will do something different in terms of track forward and track back. But Siri, triple tap on either one. Play, pause, um, single tap on either one. I would hope that they could have put at least something for volume control, like left tap one up, left right, right tap one down. That would have been really cool. It does, however, have off and on with touching. If you hold this thing for a couple of seconds, the earbud will turn off, which is great because that saves battery. So 
that's that's my only gripe is that I really like volume control on the earbud itself. But then again, if you're in the gym and maybe you've got an Apple Watch on or something like that, then you can control volume that way. You could also set your volume before you get in to the gym or on your bike ride. And so that's nice to do as well. But I will say if this had volume control on it, I would say that these would be the absolute perfect $30 earbud. But because of that, they're not quite perfect. But I do not hesitate at all to recommend this earbud. It's really impressive, I have to say, for $30. And as, you know, the earbuds, as the earbud genres evolve, the true wireless, I think these are going to get better and better and better. And it's going to be harder for companies like Bose and Sony um, and Apple and Sennheiser to really demand a high dollar price because you've got companies like this producing pretty quality earbuds for a good price. Um, one more thing before I go, each earbud, we're talking four to five hours on an earbud. The case itself comes with an additional 20. You can use earbuds independently so I can use my right one or the left one doesn't matter so I can charge one or the other while I'm listening to one or the other earbud there's no multi-point connection but multi-point for me has never been a big deal honestly either at least for me and my personal uses I like music I like making the periodic phone call I like the isolation so I'm in my own world and if you've got a good passive isolation then a and c really isn't particularly important okay that's it if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and until next time thanks a lot bye bye